Good morning. Welcome to the conversation on TOS Television Network. And as always, I'm bringing you the conversation from Nigeria's capital city of Abuja. My name is Adesu Alsi. On the conversation today, we're going to be you know, having a lifestyle discussion, something that has been freaking um, quite a number of Nigerians lately. The issue of casual bestiality among young Nigerians, both male and female, home and abroad, um, has been brought to a fore, whether it's a means of you know, survival or not. And that's largely after videos uh, um, that made its way to social media of young girls and even men engaging in sexual activities with animals, some for pleasure or leisure and others for money. So today on the show, I am going to be talking about that issue with my guest here in the studio, Chiso Udeoba, the Creative Director of Creatives in Africa. Good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to have you. Here. Now let's move straight into the conversation. Um, a lot of people, uh, you, you're fully aware of, of the yes, conversation that's ongoing about, you know, the issue of bestiality among young Nigerians. A lot of each, um, people would easily just point out um, the moral decadence part mm. of it, like the, the drop in morality. Mm. But personally, do you think that that is all there is to this issue? Okay, so that is a major part of it, mm -hmm. the moral decadence, but mm -hmm. there's so much more to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. There is the psychological part of it, mm -hmm. which highlight, highlights our mental health, yeah. mental health issues yeah. among young people. Yeah. Then also it brings to light the state of the nation and mm -hmm. Because most people doing this, I believe, are doing it for the money. Okay. Because I don't believe any rights-minded person would <laughs> engage in this. So <laughs> they're doing it for the money. Mm -hmm. Because most people are out of jobs. Most people are not getting paid properly mm -hmm. for what to do and everything. Mm -hmm. So they're resorting to other things. There is the Yahoo Plus. There is so much more. They're yeah. resorting to just yeah. to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And there's there's so much more. I don't know if people are being coerced to do it too. Maybe under pressure and everything. But it brings to light the mental state of the people, the state of the nation. And then maybe uh, parents are upbringing and peer pressure too. Yeah. Um, it, it's actually funny that you said that no, no right per thinking person, <laughs> no person in their right mind would actually engage in, in bestiality. But what is funny is quite a number of persons that have in, been involved in the act have come out to say that for some of them it's preference. Mm. And then others would be like, oh, I was just catching cruise. It's just <laughs> leisure for me. So what, what is, I, I think that that largely brings to mind the, the psychological mm. part of it. And, and do you think, and because as a nation, we don't really take issues of, um, you know, mental health issues and psychological seriously. issues seriously. So a lot of persons would ignore that aspect mm. of it. Do you think it's also a reason why we keep having, you know, the, the, the spiral increase in, in, in cases? Okay. So personally, I said I don't think, yeah. but it's very possible that people would engage in this mm. and then that's what they want and mm. that's possible. Mm. But yes, as a nation, no, we don't really plan I think it was just this year, last year, at the whole mental health campaign and everything became popular and everyone is paying attention to it. Okay. Like prior to now, it's been just, oh, you're sick, don't worry, just go and rest, you're fine. Yeah. People don't take it seriously. Yeah. And that is a major challenge for young people, for mostly young people, they call us Gen Z's and everything. <laughs> but your mental health is very important. Mm -hmm. And when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're not giving it the right attention and mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. it's, it's possible that you're going to be in a deteriorative state. Yes, okay. Um, personally, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Do you think <laughs> that there is any reason or justifiable reason whatsoever, like, Thinking back and forth, yeah. any justifiable reason to actually, you know, engage in the act? There is none. See, Nothing to justify. I, it I don't think it is. Just okay. like saying I'm, I'm engaging in arm robbery yeah. or prostitution because of this, this. I don't think so. Uh, I do not think there's uh, any reason at, at all to okay. engage in that. Because look at it, yeah, you're you're prone to so much disease and mm. so much, so much like sickness and diseases. Because looking at the medical coming from the point for medical point of view there's so much you can get there's the rabies there there's so much that you can get that can even kill you yeah. because then there are no cures some of them because yeah. they're from animals yeah you get so yeah. there's so much to get i don't i don't really think anybody would go in <laughs> okay any, we, we, we've so. gradually become a generation of the end justify the means whatever mm. the, the what about the however you get it as long yeah. as the end is, is, is favorable to you then mm. it's justifiable but we are also a nation and a people of high moral values. Mm. And I know a lot of Nigerians will place morality above anything else, yeah, right? True. So how did you think we got here <laughs> as that kind of people? So this level of rot yeah. that we are in now as a nation that prides itself in values and morality. Mm. 
So that's a very important question. You know, most people call Nigeria the praying country. There, mm. there are churches everywhere. Yeah. There are praying house, prayer houses everywhere. Mm -hmm. But still, the, the country is progressing in a snail speed when it comes to economical growth, uh, financial growth, and so much more. There's so much happening, security, and so much more. I think it brings to forward that I don't know if people practice what they preach. Mm -hmm personally. Mm -hmm. So that's what well, that's one thing. So maybe we're out there, we're doing the whole prayer, we're doing the whole talking and everything. But inside, do we really practice these things? Because I, I believe that's where the main result comes from. Okay. So it's not enough to just come, and come out and preach on social media. Oh, do this and do that. Oh, pray this, this, this. But do you practice those things you talk about? I think that's one major, one, one major issue we're having as Excuse me, as a yeah. country and as a people. Do you think, do you think, I know it's easy to blame social media for all of this. Do you think social media has a role to play? Because I know that a Nigerian would not necessarily put something out there. Like, Rick, I, I would <laughs> record yourself having sexual yeah. relations with an animal and put it on social media and say, and still brag about it that, have you seen 1.7 millionaire in your life before? <laughs> so do you think social media also has a role to play in all of this? Having to see what happens, you know, on the global scene. Okay, so I think social media has good and the bad side yeah so the good part the good part of it is that it's bringing all of this to us so we are talking about it more often yeah. unlike before nobody would even know it's happening and mm. everybody is just on the low mm. then the bad part of it is that people are now people that do not have a level of uh, personal self uh, management mm. might see that might see it and say oh that's the main thing and mm. then they just go into it and mm. without having self be self-control or mm. being able to manage this information they mm. get mm. so that's like the bad part of it but i <laughs> People, people, I think it's also boil down to our, our level of uh, moral decadence. Okay. So unlike before, where people, people are very conscious of what they put on social media, mm -hmm. you're very careful with how you use your camera and mm -hmm. what you ca capture. Yeah. Now everyone, everyone wants to blow. That's the word. I want <laughs> yeah, to blow. Exactly. I want to trend and exactly. everything. And people believe if you trend even for the wrong things, you're still trending. So mm -hmm. they want to just get everything, put out anything. And that's just a problem. Okay, so social media has a role to play. Yeah, it does. Did you know that Nigeria has a law against bestiality? So prior to this whole thing, you I didn't, didn't know because I didn't know too. That, that was I asked you the question. Yeah, I didn't know. So if you didn't know, I didn't know. That was a lot of young Nigerians don't actually did exactly. not actually know exactly. that there's a law against you know having such relations with yes. animals that actually also attracts a 14 year jail term yes. upon it's section convention. Section 214 of the criminal code. Exactly. I had to go and check it out. I'm like, really, this is there, and exactly. then all of this is happening. Yeah. Okay. I, I think our our. Uh, our laws need to be uh, propagated more. People need to know this is there. Yeah. Then the system, the justice system yeah. needs to be activated yeah. more because we can't just say, oh, we have laws and then no one is implementing them. Nothing yeah. is happening. Yeah. You know, it's very, very wrong. I think there's so much more. So much more can be done, both from a legal point of view, then as young people too. We can, instead of just using social media to just make videos and reels and dance and all of that, we can also use it to, you know, propagate, to talk about this thing, talk about, share the right information with mm. people because that's one way of reaching out to people that might not know about these things. Okay, because I was actually going to ask um, if, if this suggests the lapse in, in, in our laws and how it's implemented, because I don't know if I know of, heard of anyone that has been jailed or convicted of bestiality, even though I know this is not the first case. Over time, we've heard a lot of persons, mm. you know, having sexual relations with animals, we've seen videos on social media, but I don't think anyone has been prosecuted for it, and despite having so. a law. So, like you rightly pointed out, I think it's basically a lapse in in our, our laws and yeah. the judicial system. So what do you think that we can begin to do as a people, especially young people, to ensure mm -hmm. that we do not, at the end of the day, lose those values and morals that we um, you know, are known for as Nigerians? Okay, so as young people, most times we just uh, complain the past generation failed us, yes. they did things wrong in politics and everything and all of that. But I think, apart from just complaining, we should now be solution-minded. Mm. So we should focus on the solutions. First of all, what are we even doing? What are we going to do and leave for the next generation? Mm. What are we going to do right? So now it's the tech age, social mm. media time and everything. And while it's beautiful to have fun, to do reels, TikTok and everything, 
what if we also use them for the right things? Mm -hmm. What if instead of just putting out, you know, memes and everything, we also, you know, use those, those, those uh, methods to also pass the right information to people? What if instead of just coming out, just, to, just posting, posting anything, just to blow or to trend, we, you know, put out the right information and everything? And what if instead of, instead of only pushing out the wrong information, we also try to make the right things trend? Okay. Because that's something that I think we don't do right. So mm. when there's one false information on social media, you see we people pushing it. it. Yes. I was surprised that a few weeks ago there was, I, don't, I wouldn't want to mention a person's name, okay. an actor that put out something on social media and then just one, two, three was everywhere. Yeah. Everyone was just talking about it and everything. Yeah. But when the right things happen, it's not going to trend that way. And that's not very right. You know, people yeah. are now pushed, okay, push only the wrong things because it's trending at all. Mm. So what if we pay more attention to the right things and, you know, okay. things do better? All right. Thank you so much for sharing your thought with me on the conversation Thank this you. morning. Thank you. Such a pleasure to have you. I do yeah, hope so, yeah. that being the work generation does not kill us as a people <laughs> at the end of the day. Yeah. Thank you for staying with me up until now on the conversation. Do not forget that I'll be back here same time, same channel tomorrow. But before then, follow us across all social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The channel to subscribe to on YouTube is TOS TV Network. And of course, you can stream our website. Stream our website actually, www.tostvnetwork.com for news, stories and happenings from across the world. Thank you again. My name is Adesu Alsi and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.